Thank you for watching Policy and Prejudice. My name is Chris Stevens. Have you ever heard of parents being thrown out of school, being arrested because she cheered too loud at her daughter's graduation? This is what happened to Shannon Cooper in South Carolina. She went to a high school graduation, watched her daughter. Her daughter was about to uh, go to the stage and accept her diploma. Mother, quite naturally, was uh, was screaming and cheering and everything, and, uh, and along with I'm quite sure a lot of other people, whatever, supporting her. She was arrested for disorderly conduct. This is bizarre stuff. This is some serious Twilight Zone shit going on here. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> but I, I can't believe it. I just can't believe it. What kind of message does this send? You know, they say, okay, we just don't want you, you black kids, we just don't want y'all graduating, okay? We, we don't like y'all, we never did. We might, we're coming out and we're, we're admitting it, all right? This also happened in Ohio, at a school in Ohio. Uh, young man, I think his name is uh, Cornus, I think it is. Uh, yeah, Anthony Cornus. Young uh, high school student, also football player, highly sought after athlete. What they did with him, his uh, family and friends were cheering loudly at his graduation. They, the principal held the diploma back, made him do community service as a penalty directly regarding his people celebrating him getting a diploma. So this is a black principal, by the way, some guy named Marlon Stiles. Uh, this, guy, this guy gets paid $93,000, over $93,000 a year to, to stop black youth from graduating, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. He's a complete waste. He's a piece of shit, okay? He is a principal of a, health, uh, a high school called Mount Healthy, okay? It's sheer irony all the way around. But he's got to do community service, and uh, while this is going on, of course, he's got scholarship offers from several colleges. So. You know, he's got, you know, they, they might be taking a, 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 a uh, second look at this because of this incident. And, um, you know, this is, a, he, has, he has done nothing wrong himself except work hard and graduate. But uh, this black principal is holding this, is sabotaging his efforts in, as far as uh, furthering his education and uh, maybe even career in sports. This is sad stuff. As far as Shannon Cooper is concerned, also, uh, we, South Carolina, that doesn't surprise us. <laughs> South Carolina is South Carolina. That's uh, Confederate flag central, okay? But you cannot, you cannot regulate people's emotions. You just can't do that. You know, uh, pretty soon you'll be able, you know, you, what, what are they going to do? What, are they going to stop... Uh, black parents from cheering at their kids' little league games or their high school basketball games or football games or whatever the case may be. I mean, what, I mean, what can they do? You know, why not just pass a law against black people graduating? I mean, there used to, there used to be a law against black people reading, believe it or not. So how can you reconcile this with uh, not allowing their, uh, their people, their families to cheer loudly at graduations. That's their moment. That's for you. That is a parent's four years of a, really 18 years of struggle and hard work to keep their kid on the straight and narrow. And you're ruining for them for them. So this country is in a very subtle way. Since Obama's taken office, we've seen a lot of really, really bizarre stuff going on. And it's very troublesome. It's very bothersome. I don't know what to say for it. There's no excuse for it. There's no excuse. The more these outrageous laws are taking place, the more I distrust the conservative party and whatever uh, bizarre uh, things come their way as, as a, you know, the, against blacks that, that uh, we've, we're used to seeing, you can't trust it. So it's very sad. Uh, you know, my apology. I have to apologize from just from the, a human being standpoint to Miss uh, Miss uh, Cooper and uh, the, the other brother. Um, our, uh, what's his name again? Uh, Cornus Anthony Cornus. You know, I I feel bad for them. You know, on one hand, I congratulate them. I congratulate their families 
of putting such wonderful people through school, and that's an accomplishment in itself. But I have nothing but scorn for the elements that try to ruin that moment out of their own petty uh, anti-black uh, uh, sentiments, because that's really what it is. I'm sorry. Even even if it's the, the guy it was coming from a black principal, he ought to know better. You know, he's just a, he's just another stupid black cop, as far as I'm concerned. This this uh, Styles guy, whatever his name is, you know, he he doesn't have any style whatsoever, as far as I'm concerned. He's a piece of shit. But that's all I have to say. Keep hope alive. Thank you for watching Policy and Prejudice. My name is Chris Stevenson for CLB TV. You all have a safe week.